Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through independent sets or matching. So it is also called as matching also guys. Okay. So basically what are independent sets guys? So in simple words, you can say in the graphs I am talking in the graphs. Okay. Sorry for that guys. Okay. So in the graphs, when you can say a particular set is independent is that. So assume you are having a graph in this way. So in this graph, what are independent sets guys? So one independent set could be AC, right? So AC could be an independent set. Similarly, you can also have an independent set BD. Similarly, you can have I3, I4, I5, I6 of individual elements. Guys, I'll be explaining you. Don't worry what I'm writing. Okay, so these are the all possible combination sets of independent sets of ABCD, this graph. Okay, so the thing, the concept of independent set is that selecting non-adjacent vertices, guys. So if you select a particular vertex, it is an independent set. Okay, so here we got four basic independent sets directly. So once you selected a vertex, you can select, you should not select, you should not select its adjacent, guys. So avoiding selection of B and D, what is the possibility C? Okay, then AC will be an independent set. Similarly, if you select B, you should not select AC. So you'll end up at D. So BD is an independent set. So basically independent set is nothing but you need to select the non-adjacent things. That's it. Simple. Okay. So independent set. A set of vertex I is called as independent. If no two vertex in the set I are adjacent to each other so if they are not adjacent to each other then they belong to a single set that set is nothing but independent set or in other words the set of non-adjacent vertices is called as independent set or stable set right okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea about what is an independent set okay okay so your question might be okay so for a particular graph we can have multiple independent set sets right Yes, the answer is yes for it. You can have multiple independent sets and the only representation which we will be using is alpha naught of G. So this indicates that the maximum number of independent set in which the maximum number of elements are there. So here there are two elements. Here there are two elements. One, 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 right? So the maximum number is two. So that is nothing but alpha of G naught. Okay. Is nothing but maximum of a mod of I mod is nothing but some number of items so i is an independent set in g is called independent number of g so it is called as independent number that is the maximum number of non adjacent vertices okay so the same example which i have discussed here was drawn here clearly 1 2 3 4 so one can be independent set two can be independent set three can be independent set four can be independent set if one and three can also be independent set and two and four can also be independent set so we totally got six different independent sets and the maximum number alpha of G naught is nothing but two as we are having in these two sets, we are having two, two. Okay. So this is all about independent sets guys. And this is in some books, it is also called as matching also. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So in the next lecture, we'll be starting with covering guys. So covering in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about vertex covering. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.